What is up YouTube? It's your boy Timon and today we are going to be installing the HRS V2 tail lights for my FK8 Type R. So we're gonna unbox this bad boy, show you guys what I got and get to the installation. Let's get it. But the license plate was. This is the first thing we see after unboxing. Pretty nice, I'm gonna stick it too. This next thing I see is some wires. I already don't want to do it. <laughs> Just wait. <laughs> you got a... The E-Manuel. The manual. Is that what they look like? No, I got the clears. So I got the clear whites. Look at the instructions. See how to put it in. And then show you guys like what it looks like. Is this the top piece? Yeah. So that this piece one? will go right up there. Oh, it's like... Yeah. 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 Clean. Hey. The other side too. I think that wires for the sequential. Yeah. You could change it from switchback to sequential. So we just put that over here. <laughs> Woo! Boom. Hey. hey. All right, guys. Four hundred OBO. <laughs> <laughs> I think it'll look clean. Yeah, I don't see the vision. <laughs> yeah, I don't see the vision. <laughs> Play too much. <laughs> So obviously first you want to pop open the trunk and from here we are going to get a small flat head and pry these little tabs open. Alright small flat head, put it in here. That's kind of out. Always try to keep the pressure even. Yeah. So just that, like that, that popped out real quick though. Same thing on the other side. Just like that. And there you got both pieces out. Those. Is there a difference between like which side? And... Yeah, this one says L for left. That one says R for right. Oh, nice. <laughs> Small details. So now after you get these little handles out, you're gonna wanna use the same flathead and try to pry these two tabs out. Just come out. Ah, oh, damn. <laughs> All right, these are still good. So now after you get these two tabs out, we're gonna go here. And if you could get like a firm grip on this middle part, you can kind of pull it out. Just like that. And just take it out. There's the four tab holes. And then same thing here. You don't have to fully take this whole thing out. You just want it loose. So I'll do the same thing on this side. Yeah, just pull it down a little. There you go. That looks like enough. Yeah. Okay, this should be good. All right. It's, it's like basically almost out. Yeah. But like maybe a couple of times holding this top piece in. Yep. So now you got like room back here or a little. You could always fully take this off too. If you want. If you want. We might later. You never know. Yeah, you never know. If it makes life easier, you know, we'll do it sometimes. Okay, so we are taking this little light bar out. And to do that, we're going to remove these two 8 millimeter bolts. And there's also one right in here. If you guys can see that. I'll try to get a better angle. It's basically that bolt right there. That bolt right yeah. there. Literally right there. <laughs> I don't know where I'm It's looking. just one. And it's the same thing on the other side. Yeah, you can feel that one. Yeah, literally right there too. Yep. So we're going to take those three or six total eight millimeter bolts out and get to the install. Let's get to it. All right. So I'm going to do the inside middle one first. Only because actually I'm going to do that one last. Because if you drop that into the trunk frame, it's probably going to be a a pitta to get out. <laughs> so, I, so actually, I'm gonna take these two out. And then, it's gonna be a bleep. Yeah, and then we're gonna loosen that one. And then when there's enough threads that it's almost coming out, that's when we'll probably do it by hand. Yeah, do it by hand. So we're gonna just pull this one out. Okay, now for this part, this last one, this last one right here. See how much 
holding the right there so i got the bolt right here i'm just gonna leave all this together on the left side thing y'all should do that too makes it easy organized and then i think we have to also disconnect this piece right here so all right I'm gonna, I'm gonna pull or like try to pull this black piece out with this so it all comes out not not this tab that connects the wire but just the entire thing Just like that, I guess? Or was that black piece supposed to come out? I mean, that black piece was supposed to come out with it, but... But that's fine, though. Cause... I guess that's fine, too. All right. So, to disconnect this tab, you just basically push this in right here and pull out, and it should just come right out like that. So now, this whole piece right here should be able to come out right there. Boom. Boom. And that's how you get this little piece out. All right, so we're gonna do the same to the right side. So again, these three eight millimeter bolts. Okay. There's one. That's there. Boom. Boom. Just like that. So now we're gonna do the black tab again, which is right here. Try to pull it out. Grab it, pull it, pull it this way. So like, like that and it'll come out. Just like that. And then again, the connectors. The tab is right, right at the front. Pull it out like that. Just like that now. And be careful as you pull out so you don't hit the wing or anything. Smack the wing. And get a, what is it called? Varus wing. <laughs> <laughs> and boom. Just like that. Whew. All right, guys. So we just noticed this too. It's starting to bend or flex a little bit. I'm assuming it's because of this. So just don't, can you push that up? So as he pushes this up, you can see that it, it bends and flex a little bit, this whole piece. So even on the left side. You see how he's pushing that up and this is kind of bending and flexing. Just be really careful when doing this. I don't know why it's doing that. Hopefully when we put everything back together, it kind of fixes itself. But just be really careful because this looks like it won't go back the same. All right, guys, this is the left hand housing right here, as you can see, LH. So that's how you know which side this part goes on. All right, so this is the stock and this is the aftermarket one right here. This looks pretty clean. I don't think there's that much of a difference, guys. They look the exact same. <laughs> <laughs> That's cap. <laughs> nah, right. but the clear one looks, you can see like the individual like sections. Yeah, the LED. That's what I like. I think this is like sequential. Make sure this is also on too, right here. Yeah, so the flat one is on, the open is off. Yeah, so just make sure it's on. So you just want to fish these wires in here to make sure it fully goes through. Yeah. Let me go under. So this one. one. So now we should bring this trunk down a little bit. Line it up with the holes. So it won't fully stay until you can get like a bolt in. So basically just like that. The fitment won't stay until it's screwed in. Inside one? Yeah, the inside one. This one I'm gonna tighten to where I can't really fully tighten it because I don't want this to ever get loose and like get knocked out. All right guys, so we took these tail lights out before. So you're gonna take these two eight millimeter bolts out. Here's that second one. You just wanna pull out your tail light slowly. Be sure not to scratch anything. If you wanna put a rag under it in case too, yeah. you could always do that. And from right here, we want to remember which light is what, so that when we connect it to the new tail light, it everything should work perfectly. All right, guys. So we're just gonna take all these tabs. These, no, I think they're bulbs. You don't really take the connectors out. You twist and turn. So you twist it left, and it should just pop right out. So you just want to basically make sure 
you know which one is which. So same thing, push down and turn left. Same thing with this one right here. This is the nice last fit one. Just pull that out. And then it's holding on by this little pinch tab. So what you wanna do is just pinch this and it should just pop right out like that. Boom, now you got OEM tail light, $400 or best offer. <laughs> I'm no low balls. I know what I got. I know what I got. <laughs> so this is the stock and this is the new HRS. V2 clear whites. Major difference. Yeah. These are clean. This is like a Euro style. Yeah, Euro lights. A little like Mustang headlights. Yeah, Euro tail lights. Tail lights. <laughs> tail lights. Nah, I think that's the OEM one, guys. This yeah. is this is the aftermarket. This is def aftermarket. I, I don't think y'all could tell. No, you can't. <laughs> Alright, so we labeled the lights or the bulbs. So R for reverse bulb right here. T for tail lights. Turn signal. Oh, turn signal, <laughs> tail lights. <laughs> turn signal, cause it's More orange. <laughs> and then B brake light. for brake lights. And this is the last fit one. Also get 10% off if you use code Timon. Timon 10 or Timon 20, one of the two. I think, I'm pretty sure the first 20 people to use my code to save 20% is Timon 20. And I haven't reached that thrust, that thrust mark yet. Yeah. Threshold, threshold mark. So Timon 20 to save 20% off on all last fit products. I'll put the link down below in the description. All right guys, so the red wire right here is connected to your brake lights. So we already labeled that right here with B. This one is the reverse. So it's actually gonna be plugged in. You're gonna have to push this tab and pull this out. So that way this connector can go to here to plug this one in. But we'll probably do that one last since it's like short. This one right here is a turn signal. Turn signal is this one right here. The yellow and black, I'm pretty sure. But I mean, the manual yeah, also, yeah, the manual also says it too, if you guys aren't unsure. So that's in. And then this one right here is the power one. So this one just connects to this one right here. The where, one that's dead center. That dead center, and it says LH, left hand or right hand. Just plug that one in right there. And then this one right here. And then also for a cleaner look, you just want to push this in. Okay. And then twist right. There we go. Nice. Don't fully put it in yet. Yeah, so we have one. What's that? Oh, this one goes here. Yeah. Isn't that the reverse light? Yeah. Yeah. Other way. Yeah. How nice. You're just gonna wanna twist it right to lock it. And now this is almost done. Now we just have to connect this yellow wire. All right, guys. We seem to have everything plugged in correct. For the sequentials, did you see that little bar right there with the three numbers? You wanna put it close towards the numbers to have all the sequentials on. This, this right here, and this. So when you do your turn signals on, it'll all be sequential. But the, the switch up here actually needs to be towards the O, not the flat one, for the sequential up here to work. Yeah. I said the opposite earlier on in the video. But we're gonna have just on basically. Show you all the lights. Put it on accessory mode and see it. Yes. Oh damn! She wiggle. <laughs> damn. damn. Right, you feel this we'll on my car, eh? <laughs> <laughs> oh! And then if you look up there too, everything should be working good. Damn! Push that brakes, homie. Oh yeah. Oh, okay. And then do it's reverse. Nice. Okay. Kind of nice. So yeah, we're gonna put all this together. And then show you guys the final product. The final product on the other side. We'll take you step by step with which plug goes in what on the other side too. Okay, so we basically lift this rubber piece off so that way we could hide the wires a little bit more. So just pull it out and have the wires go and then push it down as you go. And then from here, we kept the zip tie that it came with and just tied it up. And I'm pretty sure when you put it like this, it'll just hide the whole wires. So that way, not a lot of wires are showing. All right guys, so we are gonna take 
the two bolts here on the right side and basically disconnect all the bulbs and connectors and do the same thing as we did on the left side. Except this time we know what we're doing. Yeah, we know what we're doing this time. All right guys, we're tightening down these two bolts and then I already tightened the one in the middle right here, that small scary one. So this should all be set. Make sure you fish the wires through when you're putting this piece in. So you these wires show. Yeah, all those this, wires This show. is the sequential part. O for on. So we got these two bolts out. We're just gonna pop this out. You can put painter's tape all along here if you're scared, but we've done this a couple of times to where- you know, Watch them scratch it, guys. Yeah, don't listen to me. Just don't listen. I am not a trained professional. You do too. And just like that. It ain't got no gas in it. It ain't got no gas in it. You guys could also just clean this out as like- Yeah, as you go, wipe this down, spray it down. Yeah, yeah. I mean, the instructions are really good. The instructions there. show the color that you need to connect to these. Yeah. Whoa. To those. So basically, to disconnect this tab, you're just gonna firmly grasp it. Right there. And then all the other ones twist. Black and gray is power. That's break. Yep, this is the break, last fit. Code Timon20 to save 20% off. Timon10. <laughs> Timon10, but Timon20 for now. This is reverse light, the light blue and black. I wonder what color that is. <laughs> it's that bulb color. <laughs> that bulb color. It's, it's the turn signal. And this the, is yeah. this is the reverse. This is the reverse the, mine. That's the race mode lights. Race mode lights. All right, and then now you just want to take the bulbs out. You're just going to pop them out. Pop Did them. you reuse them? No. You didn't? No. These oh, ones, yeah, these ones you don't reuse. Oh, because it's all LED? Yeah. Oh, okay. Damn, guys. Yo, does this fit my car? <laughs> it probably... No, it doesn't. It might. You never know. You're just going to push that tab in. The pinch tab, guys. And it pinched my glove. Yep. There. And now, the stock one is out. Quick, easy, like, two-minute process. It's that claw right here. <laughs> the little stapler. All right, guys. So this is the reverse one that you're going to need to pull out. So the tab's right here. So I'm going to push and just, just don't can pull. And you need, to, like, some strength with it. Like, don't be Scott. Don't be Scott. Don't be, don't be shy. Don't be shy. Don't be sky. <laughs> I got mixed up with scared and shy. <laughs> don't be sky. Don't be sky. Don't be sky. Dang, that thing's on there. All right, guys, give us a moment. All right, got oh. it. Boom. Nice. So I got the flathead, put tension down like this, pushed it down, and pulled out. You have to use some strength for that one, though. The reverse light is the dark blue one that ceases to exist on both of the tail lights. No, it's actually it's, it's in here. This you have to pull one, that out? Yeah, this small one is the reverse light. So if you twist this out. Right oh, here. you gotta take that off. Yeah. So this is the blue and black one. If any of you guys are wondering, why didn't mine come with the blue and black wire? Because we were freaking out. We were like, bro, we were, I don't see a blue wire. <laughs> yeah, we were like, where's the blue wire? Where's the blue wire? So the reverse one is this one, this light blue one. This is the shortest wire, so I'm gonna do that last. But this goes to this, this light blue one over here. And then, this is the power. So this is the black and gray one. This one, power. Yeah. This black and gold. This is the turning one. All right, guys. So this little control panel that controls like the breathing effects and sequentials is wired with the turn signal, which is the black and yellow. If you want it on, remember again, on was will be towards the numbers. So if the switch is on the bottom next to the numbers, it's on, everything's on. You can customize it the way you want. Timmy might be able to find a picture of how it'll look, and you could do that. But yeah, I'll throw that in the video to the side. Or yeah, something. I would just leave it all on, because it's all, it's, yeah, it's cool. the, yeah. sequential breathing sequential effect. Breathing. It's cool. <laughs> this is the wire that goes to the top one. And that's, you use this, um, the black wire they supply. It's just a connection wire. It's not anything like serious. And then this red one, a single alone red one is just the brake wire. So this one goes to the brakes, which is so right there, the green one right there. And we were struggling with this last time, but it didn't work when we first plugged it in. All we did was take it out, flip it over, put it in, and it worked. This is the turning one, so yeah, this is that one, the gold one. Yeah, right here. This is power, right? Yeah, this yeah. is power. We could just go ahead and plug that in. 
There's only one way for that to go in, by the way. Don't mess it up like me, apparently. And then this is reverse. Put it in reverse, Terry. Yep. yep. That's right. Okay. Yeah. Now it's tight. There's the click. All right. And then we're just going to leave it here for now. Go turn the lights on, see if it works. Sheesh. Ooh, look, look at the breathing effect. Both sides. And then it's on. All right. So I basically took this small what, hair tie or whatever you call it. And I unraveled it like twice on each side. So now what you want to do is either or. You just want to pull this back and you just want to basically shove it in here all yeah. the way until it clicks like that or makes like a clicking noise and then you could just put the plastic in here. yep right over it like that and then you can do the same thing for the top, top right here right here i like the big heavy side to go to this empty spot or just kind of face it towards it and then it clicks like that and then from here you can just I was like, where'd this piece go? Push this over. And then push this whole thing over. And right there, you should be good. Yeah, you just pull this up a little bit. Pull it up. Up to about right up here. And then you can tuck the wire right, right in there. We'll take it fully off. And then just push down as you go. So just don't, you can push this down. Okay, we got the top connected. Let's see if the hazards work. Yep, it works. Sequential oh. baby. So at first we thought I was clicking the hazard button and it wasn't turning on. So it's not just a connection wire. I mean, in a way it is a connection wire, but it's like a power wire too. So like power connection wire. So basically what you need to do is this won't turn on by itself. So you can install this part first, but it won't turn on. Until you, you wire the yellows into each other with yep. that black wire. With that black wire that we just, that we're tucking basically. Then this will work. Yep. And then we'll show you guys after we put everything back together, cause we gotta clip this back into the, the hatch. And then, then we can see how it looks with everything all down together. All right guys, so we got this back together. It, there's a slight gap. And we've tried taking it apart and putting it back in, but I feel like, I don't know why this is not wanting to go back. Anything with tabs, I swear, it just never goes back the same. All right, guys, so that's basically locking and unlocking. She. So we're going to have Just Stone turn on accessory mode. So in order for the breathing effect to... You don't even have to turn on accessory mode. You just, you just need the whole lights on. Just like that? Ooh. Sheesh. Fuego. Left turn signal. Right. And then now reverse. Yes, sir. Uh, now it works. So I'm going to show you guys this at night. So this is with the lights fully turned on. So if I lock it. Unlock. So just on is gonna turn on the lights. Woo! Beautiful. Beautiful.